on in YouTube. Burst into a song because that's all we're good for. So yesterday I think I mentioned to you guys like I just finished doing my nails and then my doorbell rang and Abby came back from the nursery so I literally just like dropped my camera and went. And then after I opened the door to them I just wasn't feeling too good just because of my tonsils so I never messaged messaged I never picked up the camera again yesterday evening and then I just kind of like slept for a couple of hours yes darling then I just slept for a couple of hours and then kind of just felt better in the evening but today is a new day guys let me show you guys my nails so I'm not the happiest bunny with my nails it took me so long to do my nails can you guys see this one isn't that straight straight um but yeah i ain't the happiest bunny i wanted to do ombre nails but i think i kind of took off a lot of the pink um at the bottom and my cuticles aren't the cleanest and then because i only have clear i couldn't really do much because this top bit is meant to be white i think if it was white i just thought that the clear still looked decent so i thought i can still get away with clear but clearly not so i'm thinking of ordering clear um dip powder as well but maybe i should wait a little because i've just spent so much money i've literally just spent so much money on this nail stuff so later on today i'm just going to take the gel polish off this is actually that new peach color that i put on two coats of it which is just ridiculous but in a little bit maybe later on today i'm just going to take off the top polish the clear one and then the top coat and then i'm just going to paint these white and then leave them like that for a little while and then i think that's it um, but it's beautiful and sunny. I'm just upstairs because it's warmer. I'm still not feeling like the greatest. These tonsils are really getting to me. So I just came upstairs to edit. Harvey's just there. But yeah, I'm just going to deal with him for a quick minute and I'll be... I'm going to do that video. You, want to, you, you weren't talking in that video. Harvey wanted to say hello to you guys. I believe he hasn't really been making a lot of appearances in my videos. Just because when I do vlog, it's usually when the kids aren't here. Because when the kids are here, I'm just busy with the kids. So mommy, I never really pick up my camera. Plus I usually just I, charged it a couple mommy, of days ago. Mommy, I like, I like videos. You like videos? Daddy doesn't like videos. Yes, Daddy. Daddy doesn't like YouTube, no. Daddy doesn't like... He doesn't like coming into our YouTube videos and Harvey kind of knows it. Um, so today is... I don't need on the Yeah. Videos. So today I is... I need on the like... <laughs> So today is a semi-busy day. Um, semi-busy meaning it is busy but it's not so busy. It's busy in the sense of I need to go into Hobbycraft. I ordered a couple of bits for Avneet's like head table. Obviously it's I don't know what to do. I'm a little bit like what do we do because I don't want to have food wastage because there's only six of us. But um, yeah I will probably maybe be making like door stops with Avneet's cake just because it's so huge. We did have the option of having like a dummy and I don't know, I mommy, think we did do a dummy mommy, as well. No Bambi thing for me. Okay. I don't like Bambi cake. He doesn't want the Bambi cake. But I just need to pick up um, the birthday cake later. I also need to pick up uh, some lovely no, biscuits. I don't, like, I don't like Bambi cake. Okay, let me put a picture of the biscuits here. I always say I'm going to put something up but sometimes I don't but um yeah we I need to pick up her biscuits I need to pick up the cake I want to pop into home home bargains and they have these crates so I want to pick up those crates and then I think that's about it I'm not going to go through too 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 much effort and spend so much money just because I don't want to waste um so I'm going to use so some of the bits that I've got already so so much money in your house and then I'm how so have we got so much money and I got some for my and your and and my money box for you. You don't tell people you've got money in your money box. <laughs> Every time I try to explain to him when he tries to break something or something breaks, and I always say to him, "Harvey, you've broken this, or why have you done this?" He'll always say, "It's okay, mummy. I've got money in my money box." That's not true. That money is for you to save. No, it's me. I'm an ice cream van yeah but yes yeah, so like i said it's a semi busy see, harvey see. don't kick me darling I see, no, I see. so like i said today is a bit of a semi busy day um yeah i'm still waiting on my doctors to get back to me actually that's so crazy i um 
put um, sent them a thing on my online portal yesterday I think like in the morning and they still haven't got back to me which is just strange Harvey you can't just look out the window like that oh I see oh I see oh I see the rubbish fan well the rubbish fan is gone now why? they've gone look can you guys see look show them your nose so Harvey fell down the other day with my nanny. With your nanny? Yeah. Yes. So my mum went to drop him to nursery and he asked her if he can run and she said yes. So he ran and he fell down and he no, hurt his knees. I didn't hold her hand. You didn't hold her hand. I didn't let go. You did let go? Yeah. Yeah. I don't run. <laughs> I did go. Hey YouTube, let's stick some sunglasses on so we look a little bit more cool. Uh, but the weather is amazing. My face isn't so much. Um, didn't put any makeup on today uh, just because I didn't have time. Uh, currently, I've just dropped Harvey off to nursery. I actually got late dropping Harvey off to nursery today. Um, I ended up getting a last minute meeting at 12 o'clock. So I just dropped him off now. It's one o'clock and went to nursery and you see all the kids just jump in and I think I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys I think I did but he's got a girlfriend in school called Eva um, so yeah he absolutely loves going to nursery and she was literally just jumping as well when she saw him so yeah does anybody else or is it just me get so scared when a police car or a police van is sirening right next to you i absolutely like petr get petrified i'm so scared um but the current situ is i am about to go home so like i said it's one o'clock i've got another meeting at two o'clock which is so sad for a friday um, but I've got so many things to do like this afternoon as well. I did tell you guys that I'm going to be semi busy. Um, I did upload my video on YouTube. I edited. It's ready. It's scheduled for 3 p.m. So that's out of the way. That's a bit of a stress-free situation. I'm also going to try and edit later this evening just so that I don't have this situation on Monday because I just don't want to. Uh, I've also got quite a bit of a vlog footage as well, so I might try and shoot out another vlog like over the weekend as well. But we'll see to that. But like I said, I've got a meeting at two o'clock. Um, I needed to get some Indian groceries. This is a problem about living so far. We literally live like 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes away from an Indian store, which is about like 13 miles, which is so ridiculous. So it's always a bit of a hardship when we need to um, pick up some Indian stuff. So I basically need like a whole big chunk of paneer. So I'm thinking of making some chili paneer tomorrow. Um, samosas, uh, the samosa I'm just going to, to be honest, um, buy them from Tesco, the small ones. And then I'll probably just make pakoras again. Um, spinach is fine, Tesco's. So I think the only thing I need for the chili paneer is the actual paneer. Even the dania, the coriander, is fine because I can get the coriander from um, Tesco's. So I don't really think I need much from the Indian grocery store, actually. I think it's just the paneer. So I'll see. Probably just ask Jaggi to buy some paneer and just to buy um, some lamb today. Yeah. Hiya, can I get an um, iced um, iced caramel macchiato, please? Medium or large? Uh, medium, please. Medium iced caramel macchiato? Yes, please. Is that all for you? That will be all. Time around, please. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect, thank you. So, uh, I get a lot of questions about like what my Starbucks order is, so I thought I will order this on the phone on the phone on the video to you guys. Sorry, yeah, so I just quickly shut off my camera just because I wanted to check um, what was on my Ringo app um, I thought that I had not opened like I had not left Abneet's push chair so I thought that uh, I was just surprised to see like who's opened the door but then I realized that I actually did leave her push chair so um, they've obviously taken her to the park which is a lovely day anyway so I don't really mind if they have um, and it's always nice when they take Abney out as well just kind of gives me a bit of a break and then it's nice for like my mother and father-in-law as well my phone right yeah so 
This is a beautiful new Starbucks which has opened right in my way, right on route, which is just absolutely perfect. Sorry, I just had a couple of weirdos just staring at why I'm talking to a phone. Um, but yeah, so this is my coffee guys. So like I said, I always get an iced caramel macchiato. Uh, don't ask me what a macchiato is because I don't really know. But all I know is it tastes really good once it's mixed. If I, uh, at the moment, I think you've got a bit of the like caramel or a bit of the stuff just kind of like at the top. But once it's all nice and mixed, it just tastes really nice. Silly. I just realized I was fiddling with my camera and the police was just over there. Right, anywho, I have just picked up my biscuits. Sorry, guys, that was a very excited biscuits, but they look absolutely amazing. And she did an amazing job with these um, sugar cookies. So actually, that's what they're called. They're called sugar cookies. So you know, like in America, sugar cookies are so popular. And I've not really seen many people in England do it, but and I'm so surprised. Um, she's actually a makeup artist. She's not even a baker. She's not even into baking. She's actually um, used to be a makeup artist and she no longer has time to, to be a makeup artist. But she made these incredible cookies and honestly, they look amazing. So when she sent me the pictures yesterday, I was so shocked that they were so precise to the picture that we both chose so so shocked but now i've just left her like she just quickly gave me the biscuits and it's so silly because with covid you can't even make any contact although you do make a little bit of contact well like when she gives me the box but i've just got the box just here um so she's given me these and now i am on my way to go pick up the cake they were just both in like a 20 minute radius so it's just easier to just like go get my um go get the cake and pick up the biscuits so i've just got the ac on just because i don't want nothing to melt the sun is out so i've taken the cookies and put them like literally at the bottom when the um at the bottom just so that the ac can just hit them and the cookies stay nice and cool and then like i said i'm just gonna go pick up the cake i don't even know how we're gonna do this she said the cake is really really heavy of my car guys and oh my god i am petrified um the cake actually looks really 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 amazing we've got a little sleeping bambi on top i think both the girls who's done the um, cookies and the lady who's done the cake literally they've done them exact the way i wanted them to be so the lady who did my cake is the same lady who did abneet's um cake smash cake and she also did her half cake for her um, half birthday as well so she's the same lady sorry guys look at this lighting i love coming to the front of my house because the front of my house has the amazing lighting and then the sun actually goes from like one side of the front of the house and sets on the other side of the front of the house a quick tip if you guys are ever looking to buy a house buy one where the sun comes out either front or back and then goes down front or back because then you'll get sunlight in both like directions that's just some advice but i'm just going to go where the sun is please ignore the mess on my unit and everywhere else you know guys know the drill like almond's playroom stays clean for a while and then it just goes cray cray again but i am back home i just came home and then just quickly changed my clothes i was actually on the phone so I didn't vlog like me bringing the cake out and I didn't really want to vlog me bringing the cake out as well. I was super scared. But let's show you guys the cake. I will try and show you guys like a little setup or something, but you guys know the drill. Like I can be delayed and when I'm busy, I'm busy. 
But here we are guys, as I never vlogged on her birthday, but here are her beautiful balloons. So we had a couple of drive-bys on her birthday so these three balloons came as one and then my friends dropped off these balloons unfortunately this balloon is losing its touch i might go and pick out a couple of balloons later on but this is the cake guys so these are the cookies um i'll enter like a better picture or you guys can just see the final touch like tomorrow but these are the cookies i think there's like 12 to 15 cookies in here She's fully just packed them, so I don't know if I can show you guys. Yeah, there's a tape there, so I'll show you guys this later. And then we have got this cake over here. This looks so beautiful. Like, look, it says Avni, and I love the writing. She's got it in as well, but we've just got Bambi at the top, and we've just got this amazing cake over here. So super, super, super excited for this. They both look amazing. I don't know why I changed my clothes, guys. I should have really just gone and picked up a few things. So I just need to go to Hobbycraft quickly and just pick up like a few more decor things. Now, the only thing I was saying to you guys was that I didn't order a table cover or a table skirt. Now, I really wanted one of those frilly skirts, but I just don't know why I didn't order one. But there's nothing that will arrive tomorrow by 1 p.m. And I'm not gonna wait it out. So I don't know what to do. But I'm gonna have this cake on a cake stand right in the middle here. I'm thinking to pop to Argos and get a donut stand. The only thing is, like I said, there's no one coming. Um, it's just the six of us. And because my mum is my support bubble, like she's coming. But there's no one else coming. So. Like, you guys have to understand, I need to bear in mind for food wastage because previously when we've had parties and stuff, there's been a hell of a lot of food wastage. So I don't want to get anything extra, which is perfect because the cookies is only 12 and I know they'll get eaten. They are pretty large cookies as well. Cookies and cakes aren't much of a worry because I can always drop stuff off. So I'm thinking just to have some cookies, maybe like some macaroons. I'm thinking of making some cupcakes and then we'll have some donuts. And then I think that's about it. I'm even thinking of emptying these bowls over here and maybe putting in something pink in this. Just so we have more pinky stuff on the table as a bit of decor. And I think that's it. We can try and just space everything out. And then obviously if I just buy some crates from Home Bargains, because I don't even know if the crates are still there. Um, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm actually redoing my nails. I don't even know if you guys can see this pink, but it's a very, very light pink. I'm actually using one of my old like gel paints from Amazon. Um, this isn't the greatest gel paint because I can see it's really, really difficult to put this on because it's already quite dry. So I'm just really trying my best to put this on. But I just thought that, let me just paint my nails because I didn't like that clear thing. It almost looked like I didn't have any um, like gel on my nails. So I really did not like that. So I'm just like redoing my nails now. Um, I would have shown you guys me like doing my nails. But honestly guys, like I filmed so much of me doing my nails yesterday. And it was just such a long clip. I didn't really want to do that. But it was super simple, I just used my e-file just to take off the polish from the top and then I just kind of uh, sorted out all the bumps, or m most of the bumps which I could and then just shaped them like into a proper coffin because I felt like some of them weren't fully coffin. So I just read that and then that's it. So just reapplying the, reapplying some gel polish now and oh god look at my hair just like coming out <sighs> oh just got into the car I literally have just come out of asda went into hobbycraft as well and i mean these are wow for three pound fifty guys look at this this is amazing for three pound fifty this is absolutely amazing like seriously if you guys are planning a party like after lockdown these are things to use i was telling my brother this is everything we can use for his wedding to be honest but just in the car i didn't get to show you guys like my finished nails please uh please ignore like this bit over here because 
this i don't know it's just it just wouldn't come off my skin there but i did clean my cuticles with uh and again this bit here is actually dip powder so i did clean my cuticles with acetone and took off as much gel polish that i could and yeah so i took that off nails done looking pink matching tomorrow's theme i am a happy bunny things are looking bright for my daughter's first birthday i'm actually really really excited oh it's so silly because like some of you might think this is so silly because we've got no guests literally we've got no guests so for some of you this might be really silly and a bit too much to go through but i did this with harvey's birthday in april last year when it was locked down i still went through the effort i made a balloon garland we wore matching clothes guys and we did everything because you know what right birthdays and these kind of things aren't for people they are for us they are for the parents and the kids um they're not for other people they're not for the people who are attending they're not for the people on your social media then it's not for people like it's just it's for you and your child so i am super excited like i can't wait for her to grow up and have a look at this like table looking so aesthetic finally got it for this table looking beautiful and aesthetic and just everything just looks cute so i'm super excited for that current situ now is i've got the donuts here i've got 12 like white iced donuts with the little rainbow things on them i've got the stuff from hobbycraft i picked up a couple of other bits from asda just kind of like nibbles i managed to buy um some table cover so i'm going to try and diy my own little skirt or something with the table cover but i managed to pick that up as well and then that's about it i really should have ordered more of like that green stuff but it's all right we got enough stuff right so should be okay but uh yeah so we're just gonna pop into argos now for the donut uh ring wall thing and then i might just pop into tesco's and buy um some more of the little i brought this kind of like is it called crayfish or some sort of fish like lobster style type thing um but it's just like little flakes so a bit like salmon flakes but they were just some things i just picked up some of those um just because i wanted to make a nice linguine i'm pretty sure i've got all my ingredients but i'm just gonna have a look so if anything i might pop into tesco's for that but i've just got a few things to do because i need to go to argos to pick up the wall like i said to you guys then i need to pop into maybe tesco's and then i need to pop into um b&m no b&m home bargains so got quite a little bit to do i maybe should have just done it like um, earlier when abby was at the park and then maybe just done my nails when she was at home but it's easier being out of the house than being in the house and she's with you and wondering why mummy's not playing with her so yeah she was just drinking her milk and then just chilling so yeah so probably just gonna call my father-in-law quickly to be honest and just uh, ask him if he wants to eat with me and jeggy and actually that'll be quite good because if i pop into um tesco's i can possibly pick up a nice white wine as well i'm just thinking is there anything else i need to do because i've got quite a lot of like stuff so i could put a lot of this stuff on stuff so i just need to know if there's any extra food or any extra nibbles which i need but i can probably do that in the morning anyways and then probably yeah okay guys so i'm in b m now i mean home bargains now but i can't find the crates which i saw the other time and i kind of knew it like pick up the crates because you're never going to find it again so i don't know what to do now um, I literally have no idea. <sighs> Just got into the car, guys. Oh, I, this happens every single time I open this lid. It pops everywhere, guys. But I hate when, you know, when you do something, um, it stings on your hands. Because obviously I did my nails quite fresh. 
and I went quite near to my cuticles it just tingles over there look my coffee like hours ago and it's still here but I've just got into the car now about to drive um I'm still meant to go to Argos I don't even know what's taking me so long guys I left home at 4:30, um an hour and a half just to go like to shops next to each other which is just so long I don't know why it's taking me so long but it has so I don't think I'm gonna go to Argos now um I did really want a bottle of wine oh my god I had to do Instagram pictures shoot I'll try and get those done tomorrow now or maybe whack on some makeup later but this is what I mean like this is what is everything just gets so hard like Juggy's not really somebody who's into this kind of stuff so I can't even be like yeah Juggy can you help me and this is where I've really missed not having a sister like I when I get married when I got married I really really was really like hurt that I don't have a sister and then like now like when I do stuff like this I get really hurt as well just because like if I had a sister which actually I can't say anything because I do have cousins who do everything for me and like honestly they, they do everything for me and then I do have my sister-in-law as well who does do everything for me as well and actually you know what <laughs> I don't want to hurt them by saying this so I'm just gonna zip my mouth because I know they're always hands-on but yeah so all of this is done I couldn't get the crates so it's fine um, I'm just gonna see I bought some logs so I'm gonna try and do those logs if I need to order more of these like three pound fifty logs these ones from hobby craft I'll just order a couple more and I don't really need to do that much guys because the more like crates and the more stuff I'm gonna put on there it means the more food I've got to have and like I said it's only us so I think you know what it's only us I'm not gonna spend any more but oh my god guys when we get home I've seriously got to show you guys the little cute little bowls I brought so I got these like grey balls they had one bowls balls I bought these grey bowls one of them has a uh, pink one and one of them had like a white one so they're grey one with pink and then one with white so if you guys like this kind of stuff like I'm not really into one of my stacking um, I'm not really into the stacking cup things because I just think I don't know I'm not really into them so a part of me is thinking should I just go to Argos now it's literally just here or should I just go home I'll just go home I'll just come to it tomorrow very 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 quick clip it of me in where in Tesco's let me I don't know where to put you guys because there's no like space in the kitchen and my camera's dying like I thought I charge is more than enough but I'll put you guys on charge um, in a minute but I just wanted to show you guys so <coughs> I still managed to do a trip to Tesco's I came home and then went back out only because a I didn't have any wine and then we wanted some wine so I bought bread today and then I went back for some more crayfish tails. So I'm about to do a nice little dinner. So I think my battery is going to die before you guys see this. But I got this tiger bread here. And then these are my little bowls. So I've got some olive. I've got some... Can't be darling, one second. I've got some guac in there. I'm going to have some hummus, some tiger bread. And then just do this. And then... Yeah. This is the stacking thing that I was talking about. It turns out it doesn't have a pink one. So. Okay. Our house is a bit like a fair at the moment, so I'll speak to you guys later.
Right, so you guys have just seen a time lapse, but you guys haven't seen the actual stuff. So I'm just gonna turn off the TV, but we've just basically pushed all the chairs. That's just Harvey crying because he refuses to go upstairs. But we've got this, we just need to push that up. As you guys can see, it's a bit bent, so we just need to put this side up. But this is literally just stuff we brought from Hobby Craft. So if you guys are looking for like crafts and things like that, this was just um, like, um, like premium winter fuels, wooden sole. This was really cheap. This was for $3.99 and it came with these logs. I really wish. Babe, help me. <laughs> um, but we got these wooden logs from um, Home Bargains, which I went today. I told you guys that I originally wanted the crates over here, but I'm so glad I didn't get the crates because these logs are exactly what our theme is. It's such a shame that we don't have an actual Bambi because we can, we've got this theme going on, but we no one will see the actual Bambi theme because we don't have any Bambi figurines in the back, which is fine anyways. But we've got just kind of these few things. I think there's too much on the table as it is because I don't know what we're going to put on here. So I'm thinking in here, maybe we can put some macaroons in here. I'm thinking to put some kids like drinks in here, like some Yazoo's or something, or some milkshakes even. I can just buy the bottles and just pop like milkshake in there. And then I was thinking to do some cookies on here. We've got macaroons, maybe I might pop and get some cupcakes to put on here. And then we've got one more, which I don't know what we're gonna do with, but we're just gonna glue these on. It was just too noisy. Basically, having a builder in the house has its perks because you can just pop through. And then I have got a, um, a donut wall so that these donuts will go like this. So everything will look nice. So we've got the log there, which makes that bit stand up. We'll have a bit of the cookies here. So it's nice, like we've got a little bit of a balance kind of thing going on. And then we've just got all of this. And then we've just DIY'd with these like blanket things because my auntie she works in the laundry so they let her take the blankets so we've actually got a little bit more like a couple more blankets we might just drape them on the side here as well just so it kind of covers up everything but yeah so this is how everything looks and I know it like I said to you guys several times it's not a big party and I understand that uh, if this is a bit too much for some of you it's cool but I just want everything like even if it's just us like it's still nice to have so much just for us like I'm not going extreme on the food I'm not going extreme on anything but it's just cute to just have like this little bit over here it's just nice to have all of this But yeah, so I'm just going to pack up guys now, and unfortunately you guys won't see the finished product in this video, I'm really sorry for that. Um, but if you guys want to say, if you guys want to see the final look and the final way of what we did, then please do hit the subscribe button down below. Subscribe to my channel and then you guys can see. Also, I didn't vlog vlog like our food, but I did include clip it's just before we did our prep of like the food we had. The food was brilliant. Um, it actually tasted like a real restaurant. So one of those meals you pay for like £27 in a five-star place, it literally tasted like those. And I'm not just blowing my own trumpet. The recipe is like, what, four or five ingredients. It's so, so, so simple. Available in your local Tesco. Tesco? You know, seriously. Um, so yeah, available in your local Tesco. Super easy to get your hands on. So do try and make that. But like I said, if you guys want to see the final birthday, the final look, then do follow me, subscribe to my channel. And hopefully you guys should see all of that tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>